it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun and unique box to go through with you. I actually already opened it earlier with my son who wanted to look at everything that I got. Um, but it is the Fortune Cookie Soap uh, Quarterly Soap Box, I think is what it's called. And every uh, season they do a new box with a new theme and this theme for the fall box is Old Hollywood which is kind of cute. I first heard about this box back in May and I saw a review here on YouTube about it and I thought oh my gosh I have to get that. It looks so much fun. Um, the box from May, the summer one, was Peter Pan themed which was just so adorable. I think I kind of like that theme better than this theme like the Old Hollywood but this one is still really cute nonetheless and the products in here are really really awesome so I'm really excited to share them with you. So this is what the box looks like. I think the packaging is really, really nice. Um, it's just in a plain cardboard box, which isn't that exciting. But inside, I think they did a really good job of laying everything out so it didn't get broken or anything. And it's got these, you know, little squiggly guys in there. And then they also included a couple of little pearls, um, just like little fake pearl beads. But um, I thought that really added to the ambiance of the whole thing and really kind of, you know, just upped their game in the packaging department a little bit. So let's go through everything that came in the box. First thing is this Glitz and Glamour OCD hand sanitizer and this is the thing that my son was most excited about because at his preschool they use hand sanitizer sometimes and they call it magic soap which is kind of fun. So, so he thought this was really really fun because it has some sparkle in it and it smells really good. Everything in here it kind of has a similar scent. Um, it's like cinnamony, apple-y, you know, perfect for fall. When you just smell it like right in here, you, it smells really alcoholy, obviously because it's hand sanitizer, but there's definitely like some toffee I think in there. The box also comes with a little guide telling you everything that you get and the hand sanitizer is described as wet moss, polished woods, and creamy vanilla. It smells really, really good. And the sparkles you can definitely notice when you put it on, but they wash off very easily. They don't stick around very long. So the next thing in the box is this Tommy Guns and Baseball Bats Whipped Cream. I'm guessing that's like a reference to a movie or something. I don't understand that uh, name, but that's all right. Um, this is like a body butter and it smells absolutely amazing. It's like this light green color. It's probably just coming across as white, but it's a very, very pale green and it is so amazing. Oh my gosh. It's so moussey and just, ugh. and it smells like whipped cream. It smells like whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just want to lather this all over. It feels so good. They describe this scent as grandma's hot apple pie dusted with freshly shaved cinnamon, nutmeg, and warm brown sugar topped with rich, creamy marshmallow fluff. Um, yes. It smells, it smells heavenly. Just absolutely amazing. I'm going to be using all of this. I'm not a big lotion person, but I absolutely love this stuff. It just feels so nice. Also in the box was this Hollywood Dreams shampoo bar, which is kind of different and unique. Um, so it looks just like a solid bar of soap, but you put it in your hair. So really excited to try that. Don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm always interested in trying different kind of things. So this smells like pumpkin, I'm betting. No, apple pump. Apple? Pumpkin? Something like that, right? Brown sugar, dusted graham crackers, freshly churned apple butter, sprinkled with nuts, and a hint of maple. Okay, yeah. And it says that there's some directions on the website um, with how to use this. Yeah, I think it's the nutty smell is what is really, really coming out in this. Here's a little perfume oil in this cute little packaging. It's purple and it's got like diamond cut um, accents on it. And the scent is called Pearls and Girls Perfume Oil, crushed and distilled vanilla creeping with wild jasmine and a splash of juicy pear. Let's see. Ooh. I really smell the pear. That smells really, really fresh, but still appropriate for fall. Yeah, that's really, really nice. That was the first time I sprayed it. I hadn't smelled it yet. I really, really like that. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this for the fall. Here's the second cutest item in the box. It's this little star and it's got sparkles all over it and it is called a wax tart. And I looked on their website and it's like a room scent kind of thing. So you melt this and it said to use just any wax melter which unfortunately I don't have one, so I don't know how I'll be able to use this, but um, I guess I could just put it on my stove, maybe like in like a double boiler kind of thing. That might work, right? Um, let's see, I don't think I smelled this. Oh, okay, glitter gets everywhere, so be careful. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> glitter is getting everywhere here. Definitely I smell apple in this, right? Yeah, warm amber, wild orchid, fluttering white cotton, and sun-dried herbs. Okay, no apple, but 
Okay, I'm smelling the orchid, I think. Do I have glitter all over my nose now? <laughs> um, but yeah, that smells really nice. Not very fall-like, but still very nice. So this is something that I could probably use right now and it would be just fine. Here's the next item. It is called Scandal Bath Powder. And I don't really know what this is, like what it does. Obviously you pour it in your bath, but I'm not sure exactly what the purpose of it is. They describe this as creaking woods, windblown leaves, and twisted rose thorns. So I don't think I've smelled this one yet either. Be careful, it's very messy. It looks like powdered sugar. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe it other than how the how they described it, but it smells nice. I'm definitely intrigued to try this. I'll have to look on their website and see what they claim this does. Like maybe it's like Epsom salts or something that just kind of soothes your body. That would be my guess, but I don't really know. There is two items left, and this one is called American Royalty Pomade, and it is pomade for your hair, and I didn't open it yet, so let's see. It's just this cute little jar. Like I said, it's pomade for your hair, and the scent is described as rose milk, thick honey, and warming tobacco blossom wrapped with caramel and notes of mandarin. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Let's see what it smells like. I definitely smell the tobacco. It's very masculine smelling, a lot more masculine than anything else in the kit. It smells nice and I'll probably use it, but I think maybe I'll give this to my husband because he likes pomades and waxes and stuff like this. And it's like I said, it's a very masculine scent. So I think he'll be able to get a lot of use out of that. And the very last item in the box is the Fortune Cookie Soap's signature item. And I bet you can guess what it looks like. It comes in this little bag and it's a Fortune Cookie Soap. Oh my gosh, how freaking adorable is that? And there's even, I'm not gonna pull it out. I don't think you can really. Oh no, you can, okay. There's a little fortune in it. Let's see what it says. Many great decisions are made in the shower. That is so true. I do a lot of good thinking in the shower. And this scent is called Dressed to Kill. And it's kind of spicy. They describe it as dribbles of mulled red wine swirled with dark rich vanilla and cut apples with a dusting of spice. Yeah, very spicy and it's very glittery. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but I really like that. I'm gonna have to be careful where I put this because I think my son would think that that's a cookie. So that is my first experience with the Fortune Cookie Soap Soap Box. I am so pleased with everything. This is probably my favorite, the whipped cream body butter kind of stuff. It just smells so amazing and the texture is wonderful. I also really love the perfume oil. The uh, hand sanitizer will totally get used. The shampoo bar is something I'm really, really intrigued by. I just, I've never seen something like this. I don't know how they work really, so I'll definitely have to go on their website and check that out. But overall, I am like super excited for everything in here and I can't wait for the next box. So let me know if you guys got the soap box and what you're most looking forward to or if you've done it before and how you like the products in general. So if you're interested in the Fortune Cookie Soap soap box, I will leave a link and some information about it down below. It is $19.99 every three months. The next one will be released in November. So if you're interested in signing up for this, definitely get in on it soon because I do think these sell out. Um, and I think once you sign up, you are automatically signed up um, to get the next one you know until you cancel it yourself so I should be getting the November one and I'm really excited because this stuff is awesome I'm so excited to use everything so thank you guys so much for watching feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like I'll also leave a link to my Instagram down below we can connect on there and I will see you on my next video